Back now at 740 with Matt's exclusive interview with Bobby Brown, his first since the death of his ex-wife, Whitney Houston. They were married for 14 years. Brown spoke candidly about their time together, and he started by telling Matt how he learned of Houston's death from one of his new edition bandmates. I heard the news actually through Ralph Tresvant. He had his phone in his hand, and he said he just got a text. And he just pulled me to the side and pulled me outside and said, you know, I just heard this, you know, that Whitney had just passed. And I was like, what? And I, I immediately got on the phone and I called my daughter. And, um... Did you get through? Yes, I did. Um, but someone else answered her phone because, you know, she couldn't talk at the time. And, um, told me that, um, Whitney was gone. And I was, I mean, I, I just started crying and I, it was just like, you know, you never expect, you know, someone close to you to to just, you know, die, you know. Um, it was really hard. I don't know. How you long know? was it before you actually got to speak to Bobby Christina? I spoke to her right after she told me to get there and she needed me to be there with her. You said you were shocked. I'm wondering if there wasn't a small part of you, Bobby, that didn't say, I'd always feared it would end this way, based on the troubles she had faced. No, I wouldn't. I, I didn't think that way because um, I know how hard the struggle is to, you know, um, maintain sobriety. But she was, doing, she was doing wonderful. Everything about her was, you know, going on the upward. You had actually seen her about a week or so before she died. You were having dinner with your daughter, Bobby yes. Christina, and Whitney, and Whitney came to the her. restaurant. Yes. So tell me how she appeared at that time. What was her, her demeanor? What was her she emotional was, state? She was really, she had this, this glow about her that was just, you know, incredible, you know. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, you know, she must be, she must be doing really well because she looked really well. According to the coroner's report, Bobby, there was cocaine in her system. Mm -hmm. There was white powder found in a variety of places throughout her hotel room. There were some other prescription drugs found, although not in excessive amounts. Mm -hmm. But when you heard the word cocaine, that that was a likely contributor to her death. How did you respond? I was hurt. Me, me being off of narcotics for the last seven years, um, I felt that she was, you know, I didn't know she was struggling with it still. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, this is, it's a hard fight. It's a hard fight to, you know, maintain sobriety that way. I would imagine that in the hours and days after she passed away, you'd said to yourself on a couple of occasions, what else could I have done? Could I have picked up the phone I one time that, I didn't? I, I, I still say that today, Matt. Maybe I could have done something different, you know, to um, ensure that she had a longer life. But you have to want it, you know. Um, some things just happen. God probably, probably just needed her for the choir, you know, up there in heaven. Um, and that's the biggest voice you have. After Whitney passed away, Bobby, if I heard it once, I heard it a hundred times. And I know you heard it too. Fans, people who say they were close to Whitney, mm -hmm. say her life went downhill when she met Bobby Brown. Mm. How do you respond to it? And how does it make you feel when you hear it? It makes me feel terrible, but um, you know, I know differently. I think um, if, any, if anyone ever knew us, and if anybody ever spent time around us instead of time of looking, looking through the bubble, um, they would know how we felt about each other. The reality show gave us a wake up because we was able to see what other people were saying about us, you know. We was able to um, see that our drug use had affected our relationship, had affected the love that we felt for each other. But why do you think you got the blame? I was reading some blogs after her death. One said, Bobby Brown killed Whitney. Not in the literal way, but in the figurative way. Another said, Bobby Brown is responsible for getting her hooked on drugs. Everyone no. seems to point the finger at you. No. And they say Whitney was more of a, an innocent victim in this. No, that's not true. Um, I didn't get high before I, I met Whitney. On narcotics? On narcotics, no. 
you know, I, 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 I smoked weed, um, I drank beer, um, but no, I wasn't the one that got Whitney on drugs. So this At was all. a part of her life before, way before you me, and she yes. got together. Did way you talk about me. it? Did you worry about it? Did you? I worried about it when you know we first got together, until I tried it, <laughs> and when I tried it, um, for some reason I have an addictive personality. It's just unexplainable. Um, but I know I wasn't the one that you know got her addicted to drugs, or I'm not the reason she's gone. You've said to me point blank, I am not responsible for Whitney getting hooked on drugs. Right. Would it be fair to say that if you didn't harm her in that way, your relationship didn't help her in that way? Our relationship was great. I had 14 beautiful, beautiful years with that woman. And that's not revisionist history. It's not a chance of, after the fact, setting the record straight in Bobby Brown's way. No. I can, I can honestly say that um, I love that woman with, with everything that I am. And I believe she loved me the same way. The night she passed away, Bobby, you continued and did your performance in Mississippi. And all the years that you guys had been together, you got up on stage and you said simply, I love you. Mm -hmm. I truly and genuinely loved that woman. And um, I still love her today. Um, even though I'm getting married sometime soon, um, my fiance knows how I felt about that woman. My kids know how I feel, how I felt about Whitney. It's no secret, you know. I was in love with her deeply. And we'll have more of Matt's exclusive interview tomorrow on Today as Bobby Brown talks about what happened at Houston's funeral and their daughter, Bobby Christina.